Hey guys, how you doing? It's Keptech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday and happy 2023. Here we at. So um, today I want to go over um, how to get IT experience if you have no IT experience. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. So today I want to go over IT experience. I, the thing is, I get frustrated with this because I know people that are watching my videos, they're brand new to IT. No one's giving you a chance because you have no experience. Extremely annoying. So um, I'm going to give you some stuff you could do to actually add up stuff on your resume as experience. So number one, I'm going to talk about it, is create a home lab, do project work, and add that to your resume. Obviously, if your resume is not tech-related, make sure the resume is tech-related and make sure it's tailored to the job you're applying for. That's number one. So get some sort of project online. And I'm going to give you real-life examples right now of some projects that you could actually do right now that's going to help you. So um, get some real-life examples of projects and then um, add those skills to your resume and start applying for jobs. So that's what I recommend. So let me share my screen with you and show you a few examples of projects, right? So screen numero uno. All right, so I have videos on project work. So I have I have uh, 14 videos on how to create a home lab for IT support um, covering Active Directory, covering Office 365, covering shared drives, covering certain things and it does not have to be on virtual box like i have virtual box right over here right it doesn't have to be on that you could put it on microsoft azure i covered how to create it on the cloud you could do it on aws it does not have to be on, on specifically it does not have to be on your personal pc you could put it on the cloud if your pc is super slow put it on the cloud and you know they give you a 200 dollar credit for azure so why not take advantage of it right so that's what i have i have like i have my own playlist i'm gonna leave it below in the video description then once you're done with that, then you start tailoring your resume and you start adding these keywords and skills on your resume and you start applying for jobs. And I have a video for, for resumes. I have a video for resumes and what to do, what to put on your resume if you're brand new to IT. And I'll put that below in the description of the video. So that, that is going to be my go-to for projects if you're trying to get into IT support. The next person or the next thing I recommend you do if you're like, okay, I don't want to do IT support. I, I, I want actual project work for cloud, right? So I'm going to go to this person. So GPS, um, literally, she just created a video on six-month cloud self-study bootcamp. And literally, that, that person, because I'm on her Discord, the person that um, that I know, or that we both know, that person worked IT support. Did he, he did my resources, right? And he got a job in IT doing IT support and now he works for cloud because he followed her videos. She has cloud videos. So she actually has, I'm gonna leave this below in the description of the video. She has a self uh, study or self paced bootcamp to get started in cloud. And then you could tailor your resume and you can actually um, make your resume more cloud related. So I recommend you look at her videos and she covers everything from AWS, from GitHub, from Python, from networking to bash, to PowerShell. So and you don't got to pay a lot. Like this is like twenty dollars a month is more than enough. Like literally, that's that's what it costs. So definitely recommend you look at her video. I'll, I'm gonna put this website below in the in the description of this video, and I'm gonna CC her on it because I'm friends with her. So yeah, she's another person I recommend you look at now. My buddy over here, Day, right? So Day has a website, um, and he has a YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna throw that nugget in there. Um, he has a website on how to build a home lab for uh cybersecurity. So why not build a home lab for cybersecurity? Why not, right? If you want to get into cybersecurity, build a home lab for cybersecurity. So he has a whole thing on cybersecurity, PF Sense, Kali Linux, Splunk, configuring Splunk, right? And then adding these skills to your resume, right? And you start applying for cybersecurity jobs. Why not do that, right? So there's another person I recommend. I'm gonna leave the the, the Website below in the description of this video. So this is for cybersecurity stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing. So you got my website or my YouTube channel, and you have two other con on two other content creators or two other people that have resources that are that are for creating project work home labs. I have no experience that just do project work home labs. It's gonna be it's gonna be something that you're gonna have to work on. The other thing you gotta work on, and people are gonna hate when I say this, is you gotta work on your networking skills, not TCP IP. Networking skills, like literally sit down, network with people on LinkedIn, talk to people on LinkedIn, reach out to job recruiters, reach out to hiring managers. That's number two. Number three 
is join social events. I'm going to say this again because I said this before in another video. Join social events. It's extremely important. Whether you're, they're events for veterans and non-veterans, right? So join social events. Like I'm going to, I have right here, like my cards right here. All these business cards, I have all these references I could use because I actually go and took the time and I spoke with hiring manager. Oh, you're hiring? Oh, oh, oh come over here. I want, I want to speak to you. I like to be, I like to go to an event where I could speak to all the hiring managers, shake their hands, get to know who they are, figure out if they're hiring or not, and have a copy of my resume. And I know that I could call that person or I know I could get a reference from that person if I go and apply right now for a job. So join social events. Very important. Number four for me for getting experience is um, join discords. Like Discord, there's like so many discords. And I made a post on it. On my YouTube, on my LinkedIn uh, page about free resources in Discord and stuff like that. So I definitely recommend you do that as well. So that's it for me. Like if you really like, and I, and I'm not I'm not trying to BS you or anything. Like if you really like take the time to network, create home labs, create project work, fix your resume, make sure your resume is tech related, network with hiring managers and job recruiters. And you do all these things I tell you to do. You will get a job in 2023. I'm guaranteed that's going to happen. It's not. Gonna, it's not going to happen one day. It's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen next week. It's not going to happen the day after next week. Although a few months from now, it, everyone's process is different. You may get a job next week. The other person behind you might get a job the following month. The person behind that person might get a job in six months. Everyone's journey is different. I'm letting you know right now, everyone's journey is different. So don't compare your success to someone else's success. That's just not going to work. All right. So that's it. That's it for me. This is how you get experience if you're trying to get experience in IT. With that being said, I hope you have a good day and have a good Sunday. Take care. Peace. Bye.